Hello everyone, it's PRKTX here today I want to show you some of the new features of D5 Shander and as you can see we have a complete scene prepared in the D5 Shander and as for the demo I have prepared two different scene first of all this overcast scene actually it's a sunset and a midday scene and now I will show you the renders this is the render for the sunny scene and this is the render for overcast scene now these renders wouldn't be possible without the new features of d5 2.8 for instance this coal object for the scatter and we have a rainbow effect for the sun it's very realistic and artistic as you can see we can easily see the caustics for the pool without caustics it wasn't so elegant if you compare that with this one i will show you now i'm going to deactivate the caustics and this is so flat if we activate the caustics you will see a very nice and deep caustic effects showing up but first of all i want to start from the grass now i'm going to delete this grass it's actually scatter first of all if you open up any scene like this uh, you will see a grass texture i will try to reset this model i'm going to click this and i'm gonna click this reset button but uh, it didn't reset the textures so i'm gonna delete this and re-import the file all right i have reset the model and as you can see we have default materials textures for the pool and for the grass if you want to create a quick render for your scene of course you can go with the quick grass you will just pick up the material uh, with the eye tool you will just hit the eye and click your material from here or you can use this shortcut and click the texture and after that you will see material template you will click that and use the grass now it's preparing right now and it's a very fast texture not too bad you will see a couple of more options for this it's generating right now we have actually six different types of grass and my favorite one is the third one it's very realistic for the model and also color but as you can see we have very bad situations because it's coming from the bottom and reach to top on the deck we mustn't see this grass you have to fix this model from the from your 3d software you have to cut your grass material from the under of the deck also we, ha we have another problem here as you can see there must be a road but we cannot see the road because grass are too too tall we had to fix this so to achieve this uh, our method will be using the scatter before the 2.8 update it uh, it wasn't possible uh, because now you will see we will just cut this texture from this texture scatter scatter area it's too easy let's click this and make this custom and after that we will change the grass color actually we won't use the uh, grass texture we are going to use a kind of woodland texture like this and after that we will fix its stretch uv maybe 5 
you can also fix the tiling problem but it won't be visible too much under the grass material grass model now in order to create this grass we are going to click asset and from here you will click this scatter and i'm just going to use the a very basic meadow for this tutorial just click that and we are going to click this area and we are going to click create let's wait a little and as you can see we have same problem but we can solve this issue you will see our new effect from the right of the window and if you click this plus you will see this call and after that we are going to select this deck area and also this tiling area we will click create as you can see it cuts the tiling from the scatter area but we have ongoing issues because this is a 3d model and there are some gaps between the decks and for those area these grasses can grow up between them so to fix that we will just click our scatter and after that we will fix this call Let's click this and we will just modify this call range. It's meter right now, so I'm going to input here centimeter, maybe 10 centimeter or 5 centimeter, therefore 0, 0,5. You'll see that our call distance was fixed and it's way more cleaner also you can create different effects such as fall of area for those fall of area you can increase density scale or noise whatever you want they say that we are going to reduce the scale for borders as you can see for this example maybe more or we can change the density this was the one of the most important changes about the d5 2.8 and now i will show you how you can create the how you can create the caustics for the pool is very easy but first of all i want to assign a pool material you will reach it from the material or you can just create your own if you are using the free version of d5 you can hit the i click your pool and from here you will click this folder and then is moving too fast first we will reduce the flow velocity 0 0.1 is enough and stretch is not enough i think let's make this five way more better and after that we will change the base color a kind of blue and yellow between them it's too green let's move it to the right it's now way more blue maybe darker will be better
and I'm going to reduce the normal value from here. Maybe we can reduce the specular to reduce the reflection. And that's it. It's a very nice water material for this tutorial. Now we are going to activate the caustics from here. As you can see, it's way more different. But do not forget to activate from the sun, from the environment. You will just activate this caustics under the sun. If you don't click this caustics, it won't work. First, you will click this caustics under the environment and then you will click your material and activate this caustics. Of course, you can increase the caustics with your spotlights. For instance, we will click this add and click this spotlight. And let's click here. And you will see a caustic effect for this spotlight too. Since this was a sunny scene, it, 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 it isn't prominent for this sun settings. This is the second feature. And as for the third feature, if you change the sun position, maybe like this. And let's see the sun. If you go to effect and you will see this rainbow flare. It's invisible. If you see the sun clearly, you will see the rainbow flare. I will suggest you increasing the lens flare as well and also bloom because you will see it's very sharp by increasing this bloom. The, the sharpness will be turned into blurry transition between the sky and the sun. And of course, if you have something like this for your scene, let's hit this plus. Do not forget to increase the shadow of local exposure. Something like this. All right, in addition to this, we have AI improvements. If you render your scene, you can improve your quality, render quality by adding AI features. Let's render this scene. Click this scene tree and click this image. And let's click render. After selecting our folder, it's going to be rendered. I'm going to pause the video and after that we are going to click this AI enhancer. Now we are going to click a specified position. We will click this plus and it's going to calculate our scene. We have to wait a while and after that we are going to select the parts where it's going to be fixed. All right, now it's ready. If I change my mouse position, you will see some of the parts will be purple. Let's select this pool, maybe, maybe this sky. And after that, I'm going to click this enhance. Now we are waiting. We can see the position of the slider. 
Actually this is a online progress. It's not going to be calculated in your computer because in the end you have to download your new image from the server, not from your computer. And it's ready. From the right, the AI improvements and from the left, the old image. You can see the claws are better and pull is better. Let's click the strong and see what happens. Weak and strong. I think it's going to be visible better in the file because it's preview right now. Anyway, let's click this download. As you can see, this is a download button. We can see the download completed. Let's locate the folder. And this is the raw render. And this is the AI render. AI adjustments, actually. Yeah, not too bad. If you have enough time, of course, you can enhance your renders and prepare your renders for the final presentation and these were the most popular and prominent features for the d5 2.8 for me if you like this tutorial please hit the like button if you want to see more tutorials like this don't forget to subscribe and comment your questions in the comment section below thank you for watching until next time have a nice day bye and if you are serious about learning ARCHICAD, you can go to my Patreon page. From there, I will be waiting for you. Alright, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye.